YouTube. How you guys doing today? Um, so this is the build series we're gonna have. We're gonna have bracing for the Jeep. So I want to try to supply. If you don't know, if you want any kind of bracing, you need to go to tractor supply, and they have these. I don't know if you can see it. It's like thirty some inches long. Okay, so this is gonna be my stripper pole or brace. It is called, for any guys wondering, it is a top link. It's extra long. It's called it's a cat one. And it's from Trump. It's from Trump to Supply. So it cost me about, I think it was like 50, 50, 55 bucks. After taxes, it was about 60. But that is what you need for any kind of stripper pole. So what you want to do is you basically get a long bolt, you know, get a hex bolt kind of go through and you want to have some angle iron on it so you would basically put the angle iron down there you drill the angle iron in run the bolt through and then have a nut on the end of it screw it down and run it straight up here so that's what we're going to do uh so tomorrow i'm going to run reloads get the hex bolts and everything like that we should be good to go for the weekend and i will show you guys the progress on the weekend peace out yo what's going on guys um so we got the tractor link it's what it's called it's a little tractor link bar it's adjustable on both ends so this is what we're going to use for the stripper pole so right now i'm currently gonna sit this down got some gray paint down here and i'm going to paint it gray right here and these are the little brackets i have they have just big enough hole just to put the little um the hex bolt through and we are going to drill out some holes right in here just to mount it to the wood. So fairly cheap. Just need four of these. They're about five dollars a piece. And the tractor link bar ran about fifty to sixty bucks. And that's literally how simple it is. Just need a couple hex bolts uh, and some lock washers and a hex uh, hex nut, and you got your little stripper pole. Stay tuned. I'm gonna mount it. Once I paint it, everything dries. I'm gonna mount it and put it in the Jeep. Yo, what's up YouTube? We got the, uh, we finally got it mounted. We got the little pole in here. Got a little brace. We got it screwed down there uh, to my box. Just like the ones that are in my enclosure. We got this one right here. It's mounted to the wood roof. All we did was I drew out some holes, put the two wood screws in there, drilled it to the uh, top up here. Well, I got a long bolt. You know, it's got a nut on the other side. Uh, like I said, this is basically the little, it's called a top link. It's like a tractor. I can't, it's something to do with a tractor, a tractor link, something like that. Uh, but this is all you need for a stripper pole. You know, it's just to help basically brace your windshield so your windshield doesn't explode. Ideally, you'd like this to be a little bit closer, but that's as far as this would stretch. Um, basically it's adjustable, so you can adjust it up to, I think, 36 inches. Uh, there's multiple different sizes. You can get a small one, you can get a big one. But this is the biggest one that they had. Like I said, it's fully adjustable on both ends. Um, mounted right into my box and mounted to the roof. So that's what it looks like. And I'm going to do some further testing. And we're going to kind of see if this helped out a lot. If it didn't, it feels about the same. Uh, we shall see. I did does have a nice little gray paint kind of matches the gray paint job we're gonna see how it does so that is the build series for installing this uh bracing like i said it seems to be holding up pretty strong made everything you know nice so the windshield doesn't even i have tested a little bit uh the windshield doesn't flex near as much now which is good uh but i haven't done really any testing to kind of see what it what it does on a meter so stay tuned for that but that's the build series like i said we got the little brackets the nuts the bolts all from lowe's and i got this a little tractor link bar from tractor supply so if you ever you guys ever want to get it you can probably find it on amazon too or just go to your local tractor supply and go back there and find it but appreciate you guys for watching thanks for watching the little series we're gonna have some more stuff to come Stay tuned.